this is a hard SAT math practice problem. If you want to give it a shot, go for it. To solve this problem, it helps to draw it out and label our known information. First, we know that the measure of angle ACD is 104 degrees and that the measure of angle EBC is 45 degrees. Our next step is going to be to calculate this purple angle by the fact that it is supplementary with angle ACD. What that means is that these angles add up to 180 degrees. So 180 minus 104 gives us 76. So this purple angle is 76 degrees. Finally, because you have two angles in this triangle highlighted in red, we can calculate the third by the fact that all interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, if we subtract from 180, 76 and 45, so this red angle is 59 degrees. Because this angle I'm drawing is vertical to this previous angle of 59 degrees, it is also 59 degrees. Lastly, we use the fact that DC and AC are the same length. Therefore, this is an isosceles triangle, and the two angles we don't know are gonna be equal to each other. So how can we calculate them? Well, if we account for the fact that all angles in a triangle add up to 180, we can write this equation, where y represents the measure of just one of the angles, and we multiply it by two because there are two of them. Subtracting 104 from both sides, we get 2y is equal to 76. Dividing by two on both sides gives us that y is equal to 38. So each of these blue angles is 38 degrees. We have two of the three angles in this triangle highlighted in green. Therefore, we can do something similar as we've done before to calculate the final angle, which is x. 180 minus 59 minus 38 yields 83, which is equal to x. I'm Christopher from Terra Nova Tutoring. Thank you for watching.